So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, giving out the basic food necessities to people in our community who are in need. Um, there's a lot of people, I don't know what this video is going to be like because there's a lot of people in need and we want to be respectful to people's situations as well. There's um, some ladies that have come out of abusive situations um, with their husbands. They have, there's two that have left their husbands and taken their kids and started from scratch when they depend, they depended on their husband for everything. And so they're, just, they're struggling and then they got hit by quarantine stuff at the same time. And so um, just giving them so giving them a small boost, we'll probably give them a few bags a piece. Um, there's also an old lady that's just poverty, just a deeply seated poverty that she lives in or whatever. And just, has, you know, she's lived a life of struggle, but she doesn't complain, but that's where she is. And so we'll probably give her some. Um, there's a guy who lost his arms in an accident some years ago. And um, he works and stuff, but, you know, obviously it's tough for him, so we'll give it to him. So just those are some of the stories, some of the ideas of, of the people we want to be able to help out in this time and want to reach them and stuff like that. There's also people in our community that have not been able to work because they've been respecting the quarantine. Um, there's the guy that you saw in another video. He drives a little motor car is what they call it, the motorcycle truck thing. Um, he's just started working again because he couldn't. And so we'll give some to him and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, again, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Because it could just be a hodgepodge, just be prepared for a hodgepodge of video clips. And you, at least the idea is that you get to see what we're doing with this food stuff and, you know, kind of and what it looks like, where we're giving it, where we're giving it out to and, um, and what that whole process looks like. So hope you enjoy this video and let's get going. Here we are again in the beautiful ambulance. Right Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Don Ramon. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so here's the food we have. We have we filled it up with bags more or less. I think there's like 30 some bags in there. So me and Carlos will probably get in there because we're the bigger ones and then we're the assignment in the front with Miguel and we'll see how that goes. Oh Carlation. Con la gafa. Talita no man. There's Rudy's probably last you'll see him. Good morning people. He's on uh camera duty today. So Oh, it's bumpy. So we have a rule at our church is that nothing is off limits to talk about. So when we get together, is we don't not talk about uh, sex, race, politics. Those are the things that we feel specifically that we should talk about with our brothers and sisters in Christ. So now we're talking politics. Always a fun time. On bag duty. All right, so we are out. We're in the, not in the middle of nowhere. We're on the edge of the city, literally on the edge of the city. Houses, houses, nothing. So yeah, edge of the city. So we have people to go to our church that live out here. Damos gracias por haber protegido a ellos en este tiempo tan complicado y tan frustrante y peligroso también. And on to the next stop. So the thing about communities like this is like they're just so far, they're just so far away and there's no access, man. So it's really dangerous when pandemics and stuff like this hit. It's just a tough time. It's hard for us to understand as like Westerners or Americans, but that's the real reality of it. All right, so the house we just went to, they had, there was actually, the lady was sick, so obviously we're dousing alcohol coming out and stuff like that. <laughs> I think because uh, the quarantine is over, I think a lot of people subconsciously take that as um, the pandemic is over. And unfortunately, there's still a lot of people getting sick, a lot. Sorry, the phone was down, pointing down. I was looking at the road, even though I'm not driving. But yeah, still a lot of people getting sick here and there, and so you're running to that. Every time we've gone out before, we've gone to houses where, what in the world, man? We've gone to houses where people were sick, and so it's been by the grace of God that I've been gotten sick with doing this. But we're definitely trying to be cautious and stay, keep a distance, and um, yeah, and you know, washing everything, whatever, but yeah, so. Thanks for that. Thank 
Alright. We're rolling. Alright. Uh-huh. So he's saying that the guy we just took it to, he doesn't have hands. And he got electrocuted basically in front of a ton of people. And he's also lost his hands in the process, but we just dropped him two bags. Happy camper, obviously. No way. How was it? Oh, ah! Another one. Exacto. Vamos a la vuelta. So it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere, but it's like five minutes from our house. Buen día, señora. ¿Cómo de la iglesia allí de dejando para la familia nomás? Algunos víveres. Gracias. Sí, no, no hay que. Se lo va bien. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo está, señora? Buen día. Puedo saludarle. Cuidándose. I need to buy some juice. Here we go, here we go. The next stop. <sighs> Come on. Oh, the music. The music. Let it move you. Buenas. I delete that right there. You ever not know the words to a song? You don't realize it until you're singing it by yourself? Me neither. Who would eat food off the side of the road, man? People sell food on the side of the road all the time. Who would eat that? Oh, look at that car. Now, what was I saying again? I can't remember. Oh, wow. So, yeah, taking a nice break. Turned into a mukbang video real quick. Oh! Uh, two doors down, getting out. Uh, turn it on, turn it on. You don't know where you are, huh? Hey, PT! How are you? There are vibras for you, for your family. We're back in our neighborhood. Uh, even though you know that the lady says senora, right? Senora! Hola, how are you? How are you? We're just leaving vibras for you. Everything is okay? Everything is okay, right? Yeah? Se bueno. Igualmente, gracias. Alright, got that done. Alright, so we're in our neighborhood again. There's the Fundacion. Right ahead. Hey, I don't know where, I can't see in this thing. Anyway, it's right there, two doors down. Got them, but well, no, that's not true. We didn't get them all handed out, but we got uh, everything that we took. Man, my, I was like, my face is still sweating from that man. Uh, everything that we took, we got it handed out, and then then a few more actually. We came back and Simon ran upstairs to grab some. Yeah, so we got it all handed out. Thirty some bags we handed out today. Thirty, I don't remember. Thirty plus, we'll say that. Yeah, so we handed those out. We still have. 40 plus upstairs we'll be giving those out to different people periodically and um when we find some people some people you know not home or whatever and stuff like that so so yeah so we'll do that so it's a good day fun times and uh yeah no it's always fun handing them out carrying them up the steps is the worst part like i said the other day handing them out is always fun people are super always super grateful and also just a chance for our church to be able to reach people you know contact people build relationships i guess is the best way to say it with people and really to the opportunity to put our money where our mouth is as far as loving our neighbors and stuff like that so really great great time great time 
Uh, thank you again, Living Faith Church. We really appreciate it. Your help and support. Camera duty, man. And uh, yeah, if you like this content, you like what we're doing, or you're interested in more, you can subscribe to this channel, or you can contact us personally, or both. So, but until then, we'll see you next time.